So, some years ago, wrestling got boring. It was the same old format of two half-naked guys fondling each other. Okay, not really. But you have to agree, it was nothing special. Then, yours truly came along. Hi, I'm So Rung Park. And tonight, you're going to see footage that hasn't been seen in years. You're going to see highlights of myself against two of the best women in the business. And also some guy. Here we go! I was born in Korea, and not the glamorous southern side. No, I came from the batshit crazy northern part. It wasn't a great time then. We were dirt poor. I don't have a lot of memories of that time, and it's probably for the best. Somehow, I was able to get out, but I'm told my parents weren't so lucky. When I researched this much later, I found out that they both died trying to get me out of that stink hole. Anyway, so I got into like this crazy thing called pro wrestling as a bit of a lark. I mean, look at me, already seven feet tall at the age of 18. I was an instant attraction on the U.S. Indie circuit. I did some managing there and even got into the ring a few times. But soon I wanted to do something a bit more serious and contacted John McCabe and started training with N.O.J. It was not easy and I got my ass handed to me for quite a while. <laughs> But I finally got my shot. First, accompanying McKay versus the spoiler for Champion Soul. But finally, I got my chance in an NOJ ring. In this match, take a look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Johnny Walters here commentating on this classics matchup here. So Young Park versus Shuhei Endo from 2003 at Karakuen Hall. This is, as Park put it, her debut, her in-ring debut for NOJ as a serious competitor. And what happened to Mr. Endo? Well, uh, well he didn't, to be quite honest, uh, as far as I know, uh, he hasn't really been anywhere. Who knows, I could be, be very, very wrong. And uh, for all I know, I could be so wrong that he seeks me out and tries to beat the hell out of me well uh, anyways I'm just talking out of my experience and well while I'm talking there we missed a uh, fantastic suplex on the part of Soul Young Park this youngster this youngster making her first serious ooh, her first serious foray into the pro wrestling ring as she mentioned she did some indie stuff before but this is her first uh, actual professional encounter Mr. Endo Fighting out of that suplex attempt there, that body slam attempt. Endo with that snap mare and stomping away at Park. Park really trying to go to work with those shots, but uh, this Mr. Endo here appears to be uh, uh, ready for them, so to speak. Park already going for a powerbomb, but nope, I guess not. Just trying to wear him down. Not a very nice maneuver there. This combobulating uh, her young opponent here. Park missing a splash there. Endo capitalizing, sending Park to the ropes. Park reverses. Oh, what a clothesline, taking down Mr. Endo. Park going to the top, what's she gonna do? Oh, misses another splash. This is a very green, if you'll pardon the pun, So Young Park. 
God, I hope she doesn't hear that. Went away. Endo attempting a backdrop. However, Park able to wrestle right out of that. Look at the power. Oh, what a shot by Park. This time he reacts. The mulleted Mr. Endo. Oh, what a bunch of headbutts from Mr. Endo here. Mr. Shuhei Endo. Park fighting right out of that. Stomping away herself. And going to work with a submission maneuver there. But way too close to the ropes. Park again. If you just see the size difference, it's just monumental. Oh, that knee. Park going for the pin. One, two, and no. Only two count. Park. Good God, firing away with those shots. Very reminiscent of one Big Van Vader, I would say. Now Park again going for the pin. I think she probably could have gotten it there. But she again, she was too close to the ropes. Her uh, inexperience showing through there. What you going to do here? Oh, nice splash. One, two, and oh, wow. 2.9. The rare 2.9 as it seems. Well, actually, probably not so rare here in Japan. But rare in general. Oh, what a beautiful backdrop by Mr. Endo. And what viciousness. Shown by the black trunk youngster. Oh, look at that power of So Young Park. Slamming Endo down hard. Park with a nice suplex. The youngster Park goes for the pin first. One, two, and no. Another attack of the infamous 2.9 count. I really love these old NOJ 2.9 counts. Park charging. Whoa, with a big boot to the corner. We've seen her do that in modern times. Endo going to behind. Park struggling out of it. Couldn't lift her. Ah. Park trying to go for a powerbomb, I believe. But Endo reversing and going right to work with those head scissors. Nicely done. Park getting out of that predicament there. Stalking her opponent. Waiting for Endo to get up himself. Park just chomping at the bit here. An attempt at a pile driver blocked by Ms. Park here. Up oh, 2.9. This, this debut matches anybody's game here. Park beating down her opponent's back here. Ten minutes past. Wait a minute, what's this? Third time's a charm and yes, she finally gets that what she now calls the walk in the park powerbomb. Referee counts one, two, and three. Successful debut match. So get this. I get into the Female Wrestling Association not too long later. At the time, there's this judoist running around choking the hell out of everyone in her path. Her name was Kyoko Nomura. If the last name sounds familiar, it's because there's a Nomura runt running around OJFWA today, but most will probably know this one as Sakura Sayaka. I worked my way up the ladder to get my chance, and when I did, I took advantage. Let's take a look at yours truly versus Kyoko Nomura for the World Joshi Championship. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back into the in-ring action here. And of course, as Park mentioned, this is for the FWA, Female Wrestling Association World Joshi Championship. So Young Park versus the champion, Kyoko Nomura. This is from 2005 at the Shinjuku Face Arena. Nomura. As Park had mentioned, Nomura been on a tear. Just, just annihilating opponents left and right. Huge record of wins here as the champion. Nomura, however, warming her opponent up with strikes and choking her out. Trying to choke her out anyway, trying to go for the early choke. Park able to get out of it. Definitely Nomura. Oh, nice throw there. And a submission there. 
as Park mentioned, Nomura is related to current OJFWA wrestler Sakura Sayaka Nomura, who we just saw last week. Strategy here. Park is, go! Oh, as I was about to say, Park has got to try to resist getting thrown here, but it might be difficult with Nomura here. World-class judoist. And another throw. Successful by Nomura. She's actually knocked people out by her throws. A feat that her relative, Sakura Sayaka, or actually I might as well just say it, her daughter, has yet to accomplish. Nomura, putting on the submission here. Park has been a little too close. Wait a minute, turns it around. Nice leverage maneuver there. Ah, but again, Nomura going for the choke there. Luckily, Park got out of it, but as, I've, as has been mentioned, that choke has put many a competitor away there. Ah, Nomura going right back to the submission. Park has to keep her distance. Try not to let her get the strikes. Oh, what a nice German suplex from the ground. Nomura again going for that choke. She is definitely insistent on that maneuver. And it's no surprise as to why it gave her so much success. And oh, another German suplex from a laying position. So you see after each and every one of those, Nomura got right back up. Well, here's a move we don't see from Park too often anymore. That Romero stretch hold. Butterfly suplex by Park. Park in control at this moment here. Park still in control. Nomura attempting a throw, but Park able to, to I guess, uh, counterbalance it. Oh, what vicious knees to the head. We don't see her doing that too much uh, these days, but we do see her doing that. Nice gorilla press by the green giantess, So Young Park. Give up. Park at that time. Very keen on wearing those hooked boots. Wait a minute. Beautiful exploder there. That's another move we don't see Park doing all that much uh, these days. Whoa, what a submission maneuver by Kyoko Nomura. Park's still able to struggle out of it. Park missing that drop kick there. However, Nomura still keeping her distance despite that. Park with another beautiful gorilla press. Slamming Nomura down. The judoist in a bit of trouble here. This certainly, uh, and I can speak from, like, from viewing this. Whoa, 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 another beautiful exploder. As I was about to say, I could speak from experience viewing this at the time, well before I was associated with OJFWA or any of their... Uh, their, their related companies. Nomura. Nomura had been basically... Oof, what impact on that maneuver there. Well, as I'd been saying, Kyoko had been dominant. And, uh, well, basically, Park showing much more, much more of a challenge than Nomura had been used to here. However, Nomura seemingly uh, trying to get back into the swing of things, as to, so to speak. Going back to that choke there, that that uh, that triangle choke. Park still able to get out each and every time. Park again with that exploder. Nice. Park chopping away. Park still firmly in control here. Park sends Nomura to the co to the, the ropes there. Nomura taking Park down. However, Park able to reverse the leverage. One, two, and referee, the referee gets that, that evasive 2.9. Referee in perfect position here. Park able to get out of it though, using her pure power. And again, using her power, picking Nomura up and slamming her down. Park laughing at her opponent here. However, Nomura is not someone to take lightly. As you can see here, again with that choke. Is this it? Park able to power out. 
One thing you don't want to do. Shows a bit of the relative inexperience there. Oh, good God, STO. STO. Over Park still in it. But Nomura very much able to use leverage there. Yeah. I mean, what's this? Now oh, here we go, walk in the park, power bomb. The cover, this gotta be it. One, two, and no. No, Nomura still in it. Nomura as tough as nails, going for that choke right away too. Very smart, the veteran Kyoko Nomura. Park, what's Park got to do? to take Nomura down and get the championship. What does Park have to do? Park lifting her up with that suplex and slamming her down. Park going for the pin. One, two, and the referee counts three. Your winner, new FWA Joshi champ, So Young Park. We'll be back after this. Ah, remember the good old days? Advertisements of t-shirts that didn't exist? Well, now it does! Go to sports.geocities.jp slash OJFWA Wrestling. Click on the shop button and take a look at all our merchandise such as t-shirts, shot glasses, and more. The OJFWA Shop in conjunction with Pete and Chris Amusements. So... Another year or so goes by, and my journey with the World Yoshi Championship had ended. So I put my hat in for the next new thing. A title symbolic with the FWA's apparent desire to branch out into North America. This culminated with a tournament for this strap that took place in all sorts of smoky halls and venues. This final match with myself versus Trisha Santiago took place at the one, the only, Manhattan Center. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as Park said, we are back to where it all began for the FWA North American Championship. Here, this is the final match of the tournament for the FWA North American Championship. The winner of this match will become the first FWA North American Champion. Trisha Santiago. Tough as nails. However, Park, we all know how tough she is. Park immediately going for that walk in the park power bomb. And holds her up and damn, she slams her down with some force there. However, Park just watching her opponent. Immediately going for that maneuver. Trisha Santiago, I, I think she's got a lot taking her out of her. Uh, you know, from that maneuver. Nice. Nice flying neckbreaker by So Young Park. A much more experienced So Young Park than we've seen in the previous two matches. That is for sure. Park going to work. Ooh, right in the back of the skull. I'm still uh, flabbergasted that Park immediately went for the, the walk in the park there. Park looked like she was going for some sort of submission there, but Santiago hits her, tr her trademark neckbreaker. Santiago has been around the bend, so to speak. She had wrestled for FWA for quite some time uh, before this point. Oh, and what a stiff clothesline by Park. And wait a minute, and another one. Park is just vicious here. Park, oh, Santiago having to fight a little bit dirty and with those kicks that she's known for. Ah, but Park comes back with a big boot that she is certainly known for. Santiago catching that punch. Santiago going to work on that arm there. Trying to slow the pace down there. Or maybe even trying to weaken the blows of So Young Park. Park dodging that. And another boot to the face takes the Santiago down. Park working on the leg a little bit here. Park, just measuring her opponent here. Taking control here. Looks like she was trying to go for another clothesline there, but Santiago reverses momentum there. Nicely done. And what a nice leverage move there, knowing that she cannot lift up the gigantic So Young Park. But Santiago 
uh, using her own body as a weapon here. Firing away. And a nice suplex. Santiago. Beautiful arm drag. Nice and deep. Oh, and what a smart maneuver by Santiago there. Taking out the gigantic legs of her opponent. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I must remind you that the winner of this match will, ooh, will become the first ever FWA North American champion. Santiago just immediately getting out of there. However, Park just firing away with those punches. Ooh, God, do not want to be on the other end of that. Park, again, going for that walk in the park powerbomb and down she goes. Will this be it? She goes for the cover. Tommy Thompson counts one, three. two, and three. So here we are. Still here after all these years. Still dominating wherever I go. And most importantly, still the first and only FWNA champion. Six years. Why don't you try to take it away? I dare you, jackass. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. And next week, we are back in usual form here with this first ever matchup. Amazona taking on Yubari. Will Millennium Ano have anything to do with this match? Who knows? We'll see you next time on Fight TV.